Okay, go. Okay, today I'm going to show you how to clean the sanitizer at West Lighted. So it's on. So the first thing you would do or have your students do is turn the machine off. All right, and you do that by pressing this green button. So the machine is off and you drain it. And you drain it by pushing this down. Okay? The next thing you're going to do is open up the machine. All right? And you're going to take it apart. So up here, and it will zoom in our two little clips right up here. You're going to press our, uh, there they go. And you're going to pull this out, and it's going to be full of water. And you can put this over here. And then these bottom ones, you go up and slide out. Again, they probably will have water in them. These doors come off, and if you, sometimes I end up playing with this thing, trying to figure out which they go this way, the handles, because sometimes you forget, you spend more time trying to figure out how to put the machine back together. And then you pull out this basket, which has a handy dandy measuring spoon in it. This is full of food. This should get emptied every day. And today was a Javachino day, so we have a fair amount of food in here. But you'll have, you'll clean this or you'll have a student clean all of these while the rest is happening with the machine. The next thing you'll do is you'll get the delimer. You can buy this from GFS. You just search delimer. And you're going to spray the whole inside of the machine. All right, the curtains, the whole shebang. Close the door and let it sit for about five or ten minutes. So while it's sitting, your students can be, or you, can be scrubbing these parts here, okay? And then also, you need to clean the outside of the curtains. You know, in the inside, you just sprayed. And these come clean really easy just with the sponges and a little bit of soap, okay? So we're gonna fast forward to 10 minutes. So you're gonna open it back up, and you can use like our blue scrubbing sponges, and you'll go over the wall, the floors, the whole thing, and then get down inside the machine as far as you can. When you're using the delimer, you want to make sure you're wearing gloves. It will irritate your skin. It's not going to burn through it, but it's an irritant. Okay, so um, scrub all this down as best as you can, including the inside of the doors. Then you can pull this hose over here, and this is going to make a mess, but that's why we have these floors. On this hose, is a red arrow. That's where the water comes out. And so the, just warning you or you're going to get really wet. So you can use this to rinse everything down. Okay. Okay. So after it's all rinsed down, what you will do is put the machine back together. All right. So I haven't cleaned these. I'm just um, doing this right now as a demo. Okay. So you'll put the machine, the basket goes back in. Again, I spend more time trying to figure out how you might have to flip them 180, but they will stay if you're putting them in the right way. We'll go down this way. There we go. Now the one with four poles goes in the bottom. Okay, and it's like if you see there's a big circle here and a hole there, so that's where you line it up. And then you have to snap it in. It'll snap in. Ugh. And the, these holes go down because this is spraying water from the top. So you slide this in the track, push, and then push it up to the ceiling. Okay? So the machine's put back together. The best time to do this is on a Friday. And what you're going to do now is get two gallons of vinegar and just pour them in all over. Then you're going to take this hose and you're going to fill the machine. And you don't have to sit here because it takes a while, a good 10 minutes. You're going to start it filling and then use this silver ring to lock it on. And you can just leave this here filling and walk away for about 10 minutes. Remember to set a timer. Okay? Then 
when the machine starts draining again, it means it's full enough. And so once it kind of starts draining again on its own, even though it's closed, you turn this off and then you'll close it up and let it sit with that vinegar for the weekend. The vinegar will eat away all the lime on those coils on the bottom, which are really important that those coils stay clean because that is what keeps the machine running well. There's also a sensor in the bottom of the machine for um, detergent. And when that gets caked with lime, the machine just keeps dumping detergent into the machine and then you end up with a hot mess because the dishes are all coming out slimy because it's too much soap. So that keeps it clean. And I've always done this once a month. I usually do it at the end of the month. All right, so you let that set over the weekend. And then when you come in, I, oh, I'm sorry, you would have closed this. <laughs> close this before you refill it. So close that, then add the vinegar, then add the water. When you come in on Monday, you drain it again. And then after it's drained, you close it and start the machine for the day. All right, have fun.